Hello, this is Rezorat from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to customize the filters, pane, uh, fonts, colors, everything. Let's see how it works in Power BI. Uh, filters pane is the place that we apply filters on the visualization. They can be applied in a page level filter, all pages, which is report level and visual level. I have explained that in another video, how different the scopes of visualization works. And I have also explained that you can hide or lock the filters you want from the user view. In this video, uh, we are talking about how to customize the formatting of the filters pane. If you want to customize the format of that, you have to go to the page formatting. Page formatting uh, can be accessed when you click somewhere blank in your report, not on a visual, somewhere blank, and then you go to the format. Uh, that uh, will bring you to the page format. Page format includes a lot of things such as page information, size, page background, wallpaper, things like that. But it also includes filter pane and filter cards. These two are in, um, related to the filter pane we have. Uh, there's a difference between filter pane and filter cards. Filter pane refers to the entire area here. That is what the filter pane is. Filter cards is these uh, specific filter cards uh, areas that you apply filter uh, now let's see how they work for example if I want to change something in the filters pane I just expand that there are options to customize it easily such as background color uh, I can change the transparency uh, you can send fonts borders uh, colors everything you want uh, however as you can see whatever I apply here applies on the whole area but not on these two because these two are filter cards filter cards can be also customized that is under filter cards section when you go to the filter cards the first and most important thing is that there are two types of cards uh, applied or available uh, these are based on what configuration is set in that filter card. For example, here you can see I have two filters. If I expand them, you should see that uh, more closely. I have two filters. One is on a field called IMDB rating and the filter on that set is not blank. The other fil filter is worldwide lifetime grass and there is no filter on that. It's showing all here. It means that this showing all no filter. When I have a card here with uh, a filter applied, for example, IMDB rating, that means the type is applied. When I have a card here with no filters applied, means it is available for filtering, then it is available. That is why this distinction, so that it can help user to determine if any filters applied in this card or not. Uh, you can choose the one that you want, for example, available. I can change the background color of that to something. Uh, you can also change the background color or fonts for the input text box and things like that as well. But you can see that whatever I apply on this available type will not be changing on the other cards because that card is an applied type. If I change to applied, then I apply some formatting for that, let's say something like this, then it applies on that, right? And the rest are fonts, colors, borders, everything there. The, mo the main important distinction here is to understand what is available versus applied. And of course, if user go and change it, for example, if user in the middle of the reporting go and, for example, clear the filter on this, that would be also become available. Um, it is, as I said, to help user to determine if any filter set in this or not. So that's how you can apply formatting, very simple. The only thing is that when you apply formatting here, it will only apply on this page. If I go to other pages, you can see none of those formatting exist in those pages because this is part of page formatting. If you want to apply this on all pages, which is normally what you uh, would do, is much better to do it through themes. You can access it under view tab and under uh, the themes. You can expand it, customize current theme. 
I have explained in another video in total uh, what is themes, how you can work it, how, how you can save a theme and things like that. But one of the most important part for here is filters pane. When you go to that section, there are sections for filter pane itself, available filter cards, applied filter cards. So you can basically apply everything that you have done over there here. The good thing is that when you apply it here, then it will be applied on all pages, which is normally much more consistent way of doing it. And if you want this also to be applied on all other PBIX files you want to use it, then you save this theme and reuse it. As I said, uh, check out my other blog and article. The link of all of those is down in the description below. Uh, so in total, you can apply customization formatting um, on your filters pane, either on one single page or all, all pages using the uh, Power BI themes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.